Hi, I'm Edwin Young, an application engineer from Keysight Technologies. In this video, I'm going to show how to perform IEEE 802.3 gigabit Ethernet compliance test on ADS simulation signals. So let's go over the objective uh, and concept of this simulation flow. In ADS, we can implement a high-speed uh, system with simulatable models and run a fast channel simulation to look at the SI performance on the system using generic uh, measurements uh, such as I density plots, I height and I width in ADS. But it, when it comes to uh, running 802.3 compliance tests on simulation signals, we're going to need to use another Keysight uh, software to help us with that. And that software is the Keysight Flex DCA software. Um, so here we are showing um, a block diagram of the, a data center networking hardware that begins with a switch ASIC IC mounted on the switch card, and the high-speed signal starts from here, goes to the goes from the switch card to the backplane to the line card, and then all the way to the end of the channel uh, at the end of the uh, optical transceiver over here. So we can implement um, this physical layer. Uh, into the ADS uh, uh, schematic and run an, a, um, a high-speed simulation on it. So the uh, flow for uh, running compliant uh, simulation um, on, the, uh, on this high-speed system is as follows. Once the uh, channel simulation is done um, on this system, uh, we can take one of the simulator signal uh, in the system and send it into the Flex DCA software. And once the signal is in the uh, Flex DCA software, we can bring up the uh, compliance uh, test application software from the Flex DCA. We can set up the test, the type of test that we want on the simulation signal and run the test uh, right on the um, uh, compliance test software. Once the test is done, we can get all the test results from the compliance uh, test window. So this is the, the flow in running a compliance uh, simulation on ADS simulation signal. Before I demonstrate the flow in ADS and Flex CCA, let's go over um, the software packages that we need to uh, have in our system. First, we're going to need a copy of the Keysight ADS software, version uh, 2020 or newer. However, um, it is the latest uh, version uh, that we recommend uh, to be used for this simulation flow. And then you're going to need a copy of the uh, Keysight Flex DCA software, the N1010A Flex DCA sampling scope software, and the um, N1010100A R&D package. And here's the link to download the software and acquire an evaluation license uh, for the N1010A, N1010-100A R&D package. And then finally, you're going to need at least one of these uh, Keysight compliance test software. And depending on uh, which uh, standard that you're working on, uh, you, you can uh, download the right uh, test uh, software for it. So I'm here, I'm listed uh, three of the a test software, the th one for 3BJ, one for 3BS, and one for 3CK. And you can um, download all of these packages uh, from this link um, in our uh, one of our uh, Keysight uh, webpage. And one thing I, I want to note is that while um, ADS, uh, Keysight ADS is supported on uh, Windows, Linux, and um, uh, Windows Server operating systems, the uh, Flex DCA and the compliance test software currently only runs on Windows 8 or Windows 10 PC machines, and they do not run on um, Linux, nor do they run on the Windows Server operating system. Okay, so let's um, take a look at uh, how this flow works um, in ADS. So here I have uh, schematic for a high-speed system um, with the, the transmitter on this side, the channel, and the receiver. For the uh, transmitter, I'm using a TX AMI model so that I can reference a um, IBIS uh, AMI model to generate uh, PAM4 signal in this simulation. 
And since we're going to run the um, uh, PAM4 uh, compliance test, we're going to need to use a uh, PRBS 13Q uh, pattern signal file um, according to the specification. So I have in here referencing a simple file for the PRBS 13Q pattern uh, to be used uh, for this transmitter. The data rate for this signal is 53.125 gigabit per second. Uh, since it is PAM4, uh, the signal rate will be half of that. I'm going to be running uh, channel simulation bit by bit mode. Um, for the PRBS 13Q, the pattern length is 8191 number of bits. Uh, I want to send uh, 10 times the length of this pattern, so the number of bits would be um, 81,910 uh, number of bits, which is assigned to the number of bits uh, parameter of the channel sim. Um, one key component to enable this compliance simulation flow is this Flex DCA probe. You can see that you know it is connected uh, into the channel at this location, so that the positive negative uh, waveform uh, will be collected at this node and sent to the uh, Flex DCA. If we open up the uh, component window here, uh, there's only one channel, and the channel signal is uh, sent to uh, slot number five. And this is a requirement to run the compliance uh, simulation. So you have to send the signal, uh, the differential signal, into uh, slot number five. And that's really all you needed to do um, uh, for this panel. Um, since I have the Flex ECA and ADS on the same PC, I can use the uh, connection setup with the local setup. Um, but if you have ADS on one machine uh, and the Flex is on another machine, then you can use remote here and then just enter the uh, IP address of the PC that the Flex CCA is installed on. As long as um, the, the PC running um, ADS or um, and the um, a PC that uh, where the uh, Flex DC uh, install on uh, in the same uh, local area network. Um, all you need to do is to enter the um, IP address of the uh, PC where the Flex DCA, and the simulation is going to be able to find it and send a signal across the network into the Flex DCA. All right, so I'm ready to uh, run the simulation here. The simulation uh, doesn't take very long time, maybe like uh, you know less than a minute, and you will see the uh, flex DC come up uh, very quickly. You can see that the signal is being sent to the flex DC, and right what we are seeing here is the uh, flex DCA uh, uh, panel, and what we are showing now is the PAM4 signal. Uh, displaying on the Flex DCA screen. Actually, right now, we, we are actually seeing three signals uh, displayed. Uh, the 5A, 5B, which is the positive and negative uh, signal uh, for the uh, signal from ADS, and then the differential signal for, for that um, pair. So for the uh, compliance test, we really don't need to uh, use these two. So we'll just you know, disable the visibility and leaving just the differential signal on here. And it's always a good idea to come and check um, where the signal is coming from. And if you click on here, it shows that it's loading from a file, and this is a file name, and that's exactly um, you know the file um, that I have set up uh, for the uh, in the ADS Flex DCA probe. And um, you also notice the uh, when you send a signal from ADS to the Flex DCA, uh, additional jitter and random noise is added to the signal. So you can actually come into here and turn them off if you don't want to have any additional noise jitter added. Do this for both uh, positive and negative. Close this up and then clear the signal, run it again. Make sure to um, take into account the, um, the changes that I made on the jitter and noise. And another a good practice is always to make sure that you get pattern lock uh, to make sure that uh, the Flex CCA is able to um, recognize the uh, PRBS 13Q channel. So system, the pattern is locked. It 
191 UI for the um, pattern length, which is what we expected. So now we can uh, go ahead and bring up the compliance software to run the compliance test. So I'll come to the apps menu, um, automate the test app, and just choose one of the three. For PAM3, I can use you know this uh, 3BS um, compliance app. So I'll choose that. Just wait for that to uh, come up. And you can see that you know this is the um, control panel for the uh, compliance uh, software for the 802.3 BS uh, compliance. And at the same time, you see that this under remote control is uh, showing up on the Flex CCA. So meaning that you know once this is open, um, the uh, Flex CCA will be under the control of the um, uh, compliance app. Uh, which is normal as the compliance app uses the Flex DC to do its measurement. Okay, so um, let's take a look at the um, 3PS compliance window. Uh, this is where we can choose different standard. So making sure that you have the right signal type, PAM4. And over here, we can choose the type of test that we wanted to do. I'm going to do a J4U, uh, some um, waveform measurements. And then uh, making sure that the uh, signal rate is correct. Um, so uh, this is, again, half of the bit rate in ADS. Um, so this is correct. And also, we want to make sure that the run simulation signal parameter is set to yes, because we are running the saved uh, signal uh, from the ADS simulation. After that, uh, we just need to um, check here to suppress all the connection prompts and run the test from here, or run the test from here. So you see that the uh, test has just begun, and you see some you know, flashes of the screen behind it, uh, showing that the, um, the Flex is, a, is being driven by the compliance app to run the simulation, to run the uh, compliance app. So at this time, I will you know, pause the um, recording Okay, after, after about a, a couple of minutes, um, I'm back into the uh, compliance window, uh, looking at the results tab, and you can see that we have completed four tests in total, and you can click through them um, to see some details about the, uh, some of these tests. And uh, you can also uh, click on this HTML report. Um, this is a, a nice report showing um, the results of the test, and have some screen capture uh, from the Flex DCA panel. So once this is done, um, you can minimize this window. And if you get back to the Flex DCA, you can always click on this local button so that you, um, uh, again, have the control back of the Flex DCA panel. Um, so the example I just uh, created, yeah, you can download a copy of that uh, ADS workspace in the Lawless Center. So you can just log into the Lawless Center using this um, URL and uh, do a search uh, with the strain AO2.3 compliance, and you can click on this result um, to uh, download a copy of the ADS uh, workspace. All right, if you have any questions about this video, uh, feel free to contact myself, um, then here is my um, contact information. Uh, thanks for watching, thank you.